hello friend welcome to the video lecture series on a machine learning on a cloud services so till now we have created one experiment on a microsoft azure machine learning uh, platform so let's start our first step for machine learning system design so very first step will be a we require a data so for data purpose azure is providing lot of different options like uh, you can enter data manually you can import those data you can import those unpacked zip data plus apart from that there are lot of saved sample data set available for your experiment and pur purpose so let's try to see a couple of one actually let's see about uh, simple one breast cancer data so if you just double click it will come here okay so once you imported those data you just need to run it or you need to visualize it so it will automatically download those data and it will create a visualization for us okay so it has downloaded the data for us so it has given a very nice visualization for us almost it has a 3 and a 8 total columns the first one is actually class whether zero may be for a malignant or one is for the benign class actually for the breast cancer uh, the second one is the age let's try to see some more feature about it so once you click any of the column you will get the statistics related to that particular features like a mean of that particular column is 4.44 in that case median mean max value deviation or um, is there any missing value out of that you can Im immediately get the histogram even you can compare those particular column with another column to find the correlation that how much correlated one feature with another feature it may have one that one feature is completely dependent on another feature so it won't contribute much in your machine learning system design so in that case you can even ignore also so in this way it has given a very nice uh, visualization stuff whatever data we have imported so this is the data which already available inside the uh, platform let's try to import uh, one more like a movie to it let's try to visualize it okay it is downloading okay it has given us like a scrapping time when it has been scrapped through which twitter id it has tweeted which user id of the twitter has you tweeted this thing and about whose which movie it has to tweeted and after that there is a rating part and uh, how many of the tweet has been retweeted so this is all about whatever the datas were available inside the machine learning let's try to see uh, whether we can import data externally or not so there is one more module like uh, enter data manually okay so if you just uh, drag and drop it here or you can double click here so see on the right side there is a big text box it has given and it they are telling us that you can enter data manually like a 1 comma 2 comma 3 let's try to put very random data some hypothetical data okay so we have and after that we just need to run it okay so it will generate the visualization for us okay see whatever the manual data we have imported it has taken into account the first column is always mean is 1 and i have uh, put it very uniform kind of in data okay so this is all about uh, whatever the datas were uh, available as a sample data set inside the machine learning azure platform we have data entered data manually also uh, let's try to see what are the other ways like a uh, one is one more is import data so you can do the import data and if you double click on it there are hell lot of options are available on the right pen something like uh, if you see uh, you can import data from web url so it will be in http uh, place you can data import data from your hive query so once you click the hive query it will ask for 
where is your hive servers or apache hive has been installed you need to provide the user account and a uh, password so this will all situated on azure is another uh, set of service only azure sql data set also from there you can just simply write the database query username password and you can import it the same way azure table azure blob storage data feed provider and uh, this all still they are telling that it's a preview feature on premises sql feature let's try to do this web url http and let's try to import some data from so i have uh, already written one iris data set url in the summary of this machine learning experiment here so if you select this web url in this import data you can provide this url and make it like and just run it so what it will do it will download this data from this uh, url so once you get this uh, correct data has been successfully imported and then we can go for the actual visualization of this data okay it has successfully imported let's visualize it okay so it has uh, shown us the number of columns like a total five column the fifth one is actual class iris setosa and uh, they are telling that iris setosa is total 50 records iris what is which one is a versatile versicolor and the last one is virginica Bo all the uh, class having a total 50 different samples so that is a call they have one given this column one column two uh, name actually it might be like a sample length sample width and a petal length and a petal width uh, we may get this thing but uh, before that let's just uh, visualize it so if you click on a furry first column you will get all statistical information regarding to that particular feature so if you consider is a sample width the mean value is 5.84 the median value is 5.8 the same way sample length is just uh, 3.054 centimeter so uh, this is all about the different way uh, you can import those data inside the machine learning azure platform and you can visualize th those data in the next lecture we will see how you can clean this data how you can split it data and you can apply different machine learning algorithm for evaluation of this model so that's it for this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and comment below if you haven't got anything